Let me show you how to pair the new parts on your iPhone 16 Pro. This is on iOS 18, which now allows you to pair the parts yourself. You don't need to go through Apple to do that. And these are OEM parts. So if you missed my live stream, I swapped the motherboards between these two phones just to see what happens. And I paired the wrong parts to the wrong motherboard and everything worked. So now we're gonna pair the original parts back to its original motherboard and see what happens. But I wanna show you guys kind of that process, including the rear camera pairing. That process is super weird. So I'm gonna show you guys what it takes to do that. So make sure you guys watch the full video to see that process. So one thing to keep in mind is you cannot skip pairing the camera because uh, if you skip that, then it doesn't let you finish the rest and then you'll be back on this screen. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. Now you might be wondering, what is this thing down here? This is a USB-C meter. It allows us to monitor the voltage and the current, and then to which totals the watts of your device that's charging. So it's a really good, useful tool for troubleshooting and diagnosing charging issues. I highly recommend you get yourself one. I will link to this, the charging brick, and the USB cable that I recommend for all repair shops to have. Because if you don't have one of these, are you really a repair shop? So let me uh, show you the actual pairing process of this. Now this process is for the 16 Pro. I don't know what happens on 15 models and older. I'm assuming it will be the same, but let me know down below in the comments if you've tried this process and it doesn't work on other models, but on this one, it does work. So first let me show you where to find this. On the home screen, you go to settings, you scroll down to general, you go to about, you go to parts and service history, and then this is where you'll find the message about all the parts that are paired and that there's a configuration available. So this is basically the calibration or pairing process. Now, depending on which part you have, uh, it might restrict some functionalities like the screen. So if you go to display and brightness, you'll see there's no true tone here in the settings. It should be right here where the brightness is. True tone is gone. I believe the auto brightness also doesn't work, but I'm not too sure about that. The battery, if you don't pair the battery, you're not gonna get uh, the battery uh, battery health or the cycle count or anything. So this all shows unknown. So this is why it's important to pair the parts. Now the rear camera works fine. The battery, like all, everything works fine except there's some weird limitations. So to find it, you go to general about part service history and click restart and finish. Now, if you get an error, you just have to keep trying it multiple times. Worst case, you might have to force it to diagnostic modes, which basically you power off the phone, you hold volume up and down, and then you plug in the charger, and then you wait. And you keep holding volume up and down until you get diagnostic modes, and then you follow the on-screen instructions. So in this case, uh, it did work um, on my live stream. If you guys watch it, I highly recommend you check it out to kind of get a better idea of this whole process. It was giving me errors every time I click um, to, to start the process. I don't know why, maybe the servers were overloaded, um, but right now it seems to be working. All right, here we go. We're at the repair assistant page. So we click continue. Then we have to log into Wi-Fi. All right, so it's gonna give you some, some legal mumbo jumbo, and now starts the configuration. So basically all the parts except the rear camera, it's just automatic. You don't have to do anything, at least on 16 Pro. The only one on 16 Pro is the rear camera. So let me show you guys what, what you have to do. And also take a look, these parts are iCloud locked. So this is uh, locked to the other phone, which is weird because I don't know, I don't know if this iCloud lock is because I paired it to the other motherboard or is it because it's the same motherboard? But this is what it looks like when you have a uh, iCloud locked part. And it seems that only these three parts are, can be iCloud locked, whereas the other three cannot, which is, I don't know, kind of weird to me. Like why, why doesn't Apple just uh, lock them all? But uh, yeah, you can't click anything on there. So let's click continue. And then it's probably gonna ask, yeah, see multiple lock, parts to owner. Let's see what happens. Uh, actually, no, it's, oh, I click skip. So it says here, oh, I missed it. So I click skip. Let's see what happens there. Hmm. I click skip and it allows me to calibrate the camera. All right, so well, I, I guess I just go through that process. 
So uh, here it kind of explains what to do. Using a well-lit room with several large objects such as waste bucket, chair, tool chest, fixtures, hold the phone in portrait mode and then um, basically hold it up like you're taking a video. So you're gonna hold it up to your body like this, like if you're recording a video, and, <laughs> and it, it says here also, it's gonna be like a five minute process. So once you click continue, you're gonna get this uh, camera screen and then down here in the bottom, there's actually a progress bar. Uh, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, you see that black bar? Essentially, you hold it up to your chest and you're just spinning left and right. But right now it says no objects found. So I gotta do this uh, somewhere else. So let me uh, cut, cut to that part. So this is basically what you have to do. You twist your body left and right. And see that loading bar here at the bottom? You have to do that until that loading bar fills up. So let me speed it up a little bit just because it takes such a long time. It was about three minutes and 40 seconds. And we're just swinging our body left and right until that loading bar fills up. And I, I think this is definitely a troll from Apple because we've been replacing rear cameras with no issues, but somehow they added this calibration step that's supposed to make it better. I don't believe it. And I feel like if you're having to do this for every camera replacement, it's gonna be, it's gonna look pretty weird. Like if someone walks into your shop and you're just doing this. So I don't know. What do you guys think down below in the comments? Let me know. So uh, the process is just about to finish. There it goes. So what's gonna happen once we configure this, calibrate or pair it, whatever terminology you wanna use. All right, let's go ahead and restart phone and go back to my workbench. And we're back from the calibration. And here's uh, the phone booted up. There is a notification about uh, the parts. Let's go back to settings, general, about. Oh, look at that. So it didn't let me finish uh, pairing that. Camera used. Wow, this is actually the original camera. So this camera came from this phone and is now marked as used. So if I paired it to another phone and then paired it back to this original phone, all the parts are marked as used. So let's go and go back to the calibration. Let me log into the iCloud and then see what happens. Meanwhile, uh, make sure you guys get yourself this charging brick. It's really nice. It supports uh, up to 65 watts has a USB-A, which is great for iPad with lightning ports, USB-C, great for iPad Pros with USB-C or any other USB-C device like Nintendo Switch, a MacBook. Uh, this supports up to 20 volt charging, but uh, Nintendo Switches will do 15 volts and the uh, iPad Pros will do 15 volts. All right, uh, I will link that down below. Let me connect to Wi-Fi. All right, we're back over here. All right, here we go. So. Back to the iCloud lock parts. It's tied to another account, so let's click continue. Unlock with Apple account. There you go, it has my uh, iCloud account, so let me log in. All right, so I put in my info, and it's taking a really long time to uh, look this up. Now, I don't know if it's a server overload or something else, but let's see. It looks like it went through. Now, my, I wonder, are they going to give the pin code option as well? So whenever you have an iCloud locked phone, uh, sometimes it gives a pin code option, uh, basically asking what was the last pin code used on this account or on this phone, and it'll let you uh, bypass the iCloud lock with the pin code versus typing in the email and password. So let's see. So I wonder, let me know down below in the comments if you ever see a pin code option for this. All right, there you go. Has been configured, restart to continue. All right, we're back. Let's go to parts service history. Oh, issue with Face ID, interesting. There's an issue with the ability to use Face ID. Oh, wow. Let's take a look at the Face ID settings. Well, it seems to be working. 
I guess that was a false alarm. Face ID working. Now asking me to add a pin code, which uh, let's go ahead and add one. Huh, asking for Apple ID account. That was weird. Uh, looks like it went through. They said he's working. Now I have seen that uh, face ID error on, there it goes, it went away. But I, I just had to set it up to clear that out. But the concerning part is, is labeled my original parts as used. So uh, that's gonna be uh, weird to explain. Well, these are the original parts, but now Apple, cause I paired these parts to another phone and now paired them back. Um, the parts now marked as used, even though they're original. So that's uh, that's some that's news to me. One thing I did notice is if you replace the back glass, it does make you go through the calibration. Although you can technically skip it, it'll say it'll be here in the settings. But once you process uh, the calibration, it doesn't appear here in this menu. So for whatever reason, you can calibrate it, but it doesn't show up that it's been replaced. Same for the housing or enclosure. So that's just uh, something to note. Also, I had recorded a whole segment and my audio messed up, so I'm kind of trying to redo it uh, right now. And then let me show you what happens now that the parts are calibrated. If you go to battery, you will see the battery health now. Before, remember, you were getting a bunch of errors here. And then the display also shows the true tone, which wasn't there before. So that's what the calibration really does, is bring those two functions back. Uh, the camera, I never noticed anything different. Uh, face ID, that's also an important one. I don't know if that works for older models, but it for sure works on this model. So you could now set up face ID and that'll work. Um, so let me know what you guys think down below about the calibration of the rear camera. Do you think it's actually doing anything? Is Apple trolling us? Let me know your thoughts down below and just let me know what you guys think about this whole pairing process of the parts. I want to hear everyone's thoughts. And if you want to support the channel, make sure you guys are checking out the links down below. Get yourself the USB meter, the charging brick, uh, get yourself one of these t-shirts, sign up to be a Locals community member. I will link everything down below. I will do more videos on this. Also, let me know what you guys want me to cover as well. Thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys in the next 16 Pro video.